have to have official approval. It would have to be... What do you mean you'd have to have? Well, how else would you do it? Otherwise the police would just come along and knock it down. Yeah. It'd be quite expensive. What? For the police to yeah, knock down. Yeah, they would. You know, the council, you know. They knocked down Ray, <coughs> Rachel Whitesreed's <coughs> house, didn't they? Oh, yeah, that wasn't popular, yeah. Yes. The locals didn't like it. Everyone else, I thought it was fabulous. I mean, it was absolutely you amazing. You visited it, I didn't. I didn't visit it. But I just saw a film of it, but yeah. it just looked incredible. It was so beautiful. Mm. But uh, you know, they managed to film a few locals who hated it. Mm. And the uh, council knocked it down. Mm. So, you know, they're quite ruthless when it comes to, you know, people doing things that are outside the, you know, the bounds of what you're allowed to do, you know, planning permission and all the rest of it. Mm. No, I have, I have actually um, chosen to do something less radical recently, which is, whereas I was going to install some, um, some small walking Buddhas in rock pools this summer, painted in gold leaf, mm. um, as a um, piece of publicity for the play. My other problem is that I'm really not keen on that walking Buddha. I think it's a piece of crap art. Oh, I think it's you know very unfortunate. Really. Unfortunately, well, it, has original... deep, it has deep symbolism for me because. Oh well, no, we, I mean we, I can see that it's very, it is very in the of India and where, where it's been built. But I, mean, I and, think and it's a shame that it's not a, a better piece of work. You know, it's the only walking Buddha I know of. Yeah, yeah but it's it, just it, it did seem an interesting innovation to go from a standing Buddha, Buddha is fine. to I just a walking don't think Buddha. It's a particularly good piece of art. You know, so who would you commission to do a I've to no do a new walking Buddha? No but then the link would be lost with Nagaloka if I switched if I switched models. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, and, you it know, might be I possible actually, to I do actually, a slightly more refined. I mean, things I've not seen the original mm. close up, so I don't know about the quality of that. Um, all I've seen is the plastic model, which is clearly a copy, oh, right. which I definitely think is dodgy. Yeah. Okay, and okay, just yeah. Sort of weak looking. Right, no, the, the original's better, but it does have a very strange s surface texture. You'd think, yeah. this isn't bronze, this is plastic, um, right. which is weird. I mean, if you go to the Tate now and see, I know you don't like him, see the Banksy that's outside the Tate, it's a... The Damien Hurst. Sorry, the Damien Hurst that's the, outside the... the an anatomical man. Yes, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's bronze underneath, covered in plastic. Yeah, It's very in interesting enamel. when people have a great bronze statue and, and cover it in something. Um, <laughs> ludicrous. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bronze, I bronze is a lovely material, <coughs> so why not? Yeah, why exactly. Not stick but, with but the whole thing was it had to look like a piece of plastic, so why make it in bronze? Oh, that makes it art. That makes it important and worth millions of pounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's only sold for a million, but yeah. Um, I mean, I love Arlika's new Rupert, which looks like bronze. Oh, and is oh, oh fact, the one at Padmaloka. And is in fact polystyrene and paper mache, you know. Oh, I didn't know what it was made, made yeah. of. It's I, obviously the head is lacquered. Yeah. I, I, I was going to make a little subversive movie of me um, in relation to that Rupa when everyone was out of Shrine Room, but decided not to, decided to leave it be. Um, Do you, you don't like it? No, I, 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 um, I love to relate to statues. Yeah. Um, so, oh, and, or, even, or even spaces that require, that seem to be begging for statues. Yeah. So I found, it's my favourite 30 second film of myself, is um, there was a big cog outside a um, outside a museum, a vertical cog, mm. um, and I just it just um, ins inspired me to want to film thirty seconds of me running, standing up above this cog, doing the kind of Jesus pose um, that they have in Bra in Rio, um, oh, yeah. Christ the Redeemer. Yeah. Um, then someone interrupted me and I had to kind of apologise to someone at the side and then walking down the other side, but there was a circularity, there was a statue in the middle of it and it was a natural setting for it. I love it, I think I've lost my thread, but I love it when there are, when, when, when there are spaces that call, to me, call for yeah, yeah. Uh, human yeah. art or, yeah. or, permanent, or, or permanent art. I should, um, you must come and see me sometime and I'll show you my, my efforts at sculpture, which, um, or my 3D work. I made a thing a couple of years ago, which I called the grandmother. The grandmother. It was basically chicken wire and old rags, mm. and it's a kind of an evocation of my grandmother okay. and my mother. And I entered it for the scarecrow competition mm. that we have in the village every year. And I wanted to put it in the art show, and I was told it was too scary. Uh. It'll frighten the children. So, so the thing that I was just thinking, um, sorry, the, 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 the yeah, way in sorry. which I was trying to answer your question is that in the same way that I've done this 30 second clip where I wanted to do Christ the Redeemer behind this big cog by the side of this beautiful black building, um, 
I, when I saw the Padma Loka Rupa, yeah. the first thing I wanted to do was put the camera on a tripod, walk up to the Buddha, sit in his lap. I think you res- might break him, so don't. Y- yeah. <laughs> um, do the Vajrasattva man- mantra, yeah. leave his lap, and complete the circle yeah, and yeah. turn the camera off. That's what I wanted. To, what, what I wanted yeah. to do. I'm not that, quite sure how strong he is. Yeah, so he's I'll got be, great big knees, but you know. But it's not. He's not as strong as he looks. I, no, I don't think so. Because Aloka hasn't got the budget for bronze, or because Aloka well, doesn't want to work. Certainly, there isn't the budget for bronze. No. Um, I haven't worked out what bronze really costs. It costs a fortune, something like that. It cost, you know. Mm, I, I mean, it 50 was fifty grand or something. I would imagine. You know, mm-hmm. A lot, you know, a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, you know, it costs a lot of money anyway. Because it took him a very long time to do it. For sure. It, it is. I mean, I'd like it's to also, you know, if it's light, it's a hell of a lot easier to move. You don't oh, have to take okay. the roof off the shrine room to get it in. And of whatever, course. You know. Okay, because I'm just wondering, you know, Aloka is a great is a great artist within our movement. Yeah. And I would like his works to have some longevity mm. to them. So I'm mm. just wondering whether, you know, getting money to Aloka is a good thing mm. these days. Um, mm. Absolutely. Mm. I think he's getting better and better. I think his, his Manjushri is... And Akshobia paintings are just incredible. I love them. Where are they? They're in the shrine. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, the big blue ones. Yeah, the big blue one and, yeah. the, and the and the and the Manjushri. I, I can't picture Manjushri. Well, he's my he is my Yidam, and right. It's the first image I've seen of him. I've just thought, oh yes, yes. you've got it. That's it. it. That's right. that's who. It, that's that's my man. Yeah. Why do you think you were given Manjushri? I wasn't. I chose it. Why we do you think? Our, why do you think you chose? I and is this a left brain or a right brain response? Um, it's a story. I had no interest in him at all. In him at all. I thought him as, as very left brained. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's through. all about just analysis and mm. la 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 la. I'm not interested. Um, I kind of worked through flirtations with you know all the five Buddhas and Tara and Padmasambhava and you know quite a lot of them mm. and then about a week two weeks before I was going off to Gukiloka I, w- I was on a David Smith retreat at, at Vajraloka mm-hmm. where we're doing just sitting pure awareness stuff very body based mm. and I was sitting opposite purely well I hadn't deliberately done it chosen it yeah. opposite a, a tanker of Manjushri right. and every time I was getting a bit heady the sword was Coming going through. Whoosh, all right, taking, taking the top, my, top of the head off. Taking my head off. Oh, taking your whole head off. Taking my whole head off. Right, yes, okay. definitely. I could feel it. And I was just, ah, it's about getting back into my body, isn't it? That's what he's about. Oh, wow. That's a, I love that interpretation of Manjushri. And yeah. suddenly, ah, okay. This suddenly it all work. sort of fitted, and it fitted with lots of other stuff. I've, mm. I've always had a thing about m- the Archangel Michael, mm-hmm. and he carries the sword. And I thought, ah, okay. And, you know, mm. there were lots of things. And when I finally got given the sadhana, it just clicked mm. and just ah this is what I've been looking for this is this is exactly you know you take him into your heart mm. from the top of the head at the end down into the heart oh wow I hadn't thought of the root to the heart yes yes and 